going six not. wide here. Mayor Tory, it's great to see it. Look, uh, yeah, I hear here on what you just said about Dundas Street or the street is soon to be formally known as. Yes. Where can one uh, throw their name in the hat for a street? Out of curiosity. You mean if I you mean someone in your who... case, are you talking about are in your case are you talking about your own name, Sid? <laughs> because I know that's probably what's on your mind. Has a nice yeah. ring to it. Okay, yeah. listen, since Sid's you brought great. us here, I wasn't gonna take us here, but since you brought us here, <laughs> how does one how how does the process seriously, like what's the how long is the process here to get a new name? What do you think? Well, uh, the, the city manager is to come back with a process because okay. I think what you have to do is a couple of things. One is have it open so people can put in suggestions. But second, you know, is make sure we don't make a mistake in terms of uh, whoever of is, if it's somebody's name, that you don't sort of, uh, you know, miss part of the history and, and end up going through this again. You want to go down the so, same road, uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't know what that process is yet. It'll be sometime made public sometime I would think or in the early fall, and then people will be able to participate in it. And there'll have to be some kind of a group set up to objectively look at those names. So it isn't politicians; it's some group of people that are you know respected by the citizens to be able to make that uh, recommendation. So what I'm hearing is it's not a hard no. The door is slightly <laughs> ajar for Sid Sixero Square. That's what I'm hearing. Sixero Square? Can we just call yeah. it Sixero Square? Sixero Square or Sid Square? Like but, but you know, so, so okay, it brings us, but it brings us full circle, uh, Dina, because when you go back and review someone's history, of course, it would come up. Even you wouldn't have to go back more than I would say three months to oh. see that this man. This man could not bring himself to support <laughs> our hockey team in the playoffs. Ooh. So to me, that would be a fatal Rachel. blow to what yeah. otherwise might have been an, an idea worth considering. But I think it'll be a fatal blow. Oh, so I think probably <laughs> I would I, I would think that one has a limited chance of success. Wow. You set yourself yeah, up for it. You Sid. set yourself up. See, yeah. Mayor Tory wouldn't even table that at any committee meeting. He, was, he would just end it. No, I'd, t I'd table it. But I'd table it, but I think it would be swiftly rejected. I might be the only one saying, "Oh, give the poor guy a chance." He, he meant well, you know. He meant well. All right. <laughs> And, uh, but so there's no Sixero Crescent coming to downtown Toronto anytime soon. Well, no, no, we could maybe arrange the Sixero Laneway somewhere in the, you know, sort of... Uh, <laughs> just some, some, some remote area. Throw me a lane somewhere, in, somewhere in, in a new subdivision. After, that, that, after that blistering editorial this morning, that blistering editorial, I thought you were going to launch yourself off that patio at any moment <laughs> so into orbit. But I've after enough. that blistering... But by the way, with, with which I agreed. I mean, I think it's time to get on with this. You heard me say that in a, in a more mild-mannered way, as I would, compared to you uh, being on some sort of nuclear propulsion this morning. So that's good. Did you have too much coffee or what was the deal? I think I've had too much coffee since March 10th, Mayor Tory. I think around that day. Uh, we were going to talk about gyms and, and whether or not they should be asking people for vaccination rates. I mean, listen, tomorrow's a huge day, Mayor Tory. You've, you've done so much work yeah, to make sure businesses are ready here. Dean and I, you know, we were with you during an announcement just last week. Uh, we're going to run a little over time here, but I want to go around the horn quick. Mayor Tory, are you concerned about gyms starting tomorrow? No. No, okay. because I think the gyms understand that there are, first of all, there are capacity restrictions and they understand that they're going to have to be protocols in place with regard to wiping down equipment and just being safe. You look at these variants, they're on the march again in Europe, they're on the march again in the U.S. We just have to make sure that doesn't happen here. And the best thing to do is get vaccinated, but also to be safe in places like gyms. Just be sensible and safe and keep your distance and wipe down uh, the equipment you're using. And I think we'll be fine. All right, 30 seconds each. Devo, your take on this. Yeah, I'm with the mayor on this. Look, if people are smart about it and not selfish, get the vaccination, get done, and that's what you're going to be out there and doing things. Uh, if you're not feeling well, stay home. Don't go to the gym. Right. I know people miss it. These businesses, businesses need to open, especially these small gyms. So I, I think as long as they follow what they need to do and everyone's smart about stuff, we'll be okay. Natasha Ramsahuck. Yeah, just keeping it at a 50% capacity or lower and keep the masks on in the gym. I know it's uncomfortable, but we're asking kids to do it in schools that are not air conditioned. You can do it. I think keep the mask on and uh, yeah, just be safe and sanitary with it. And like Devo said, if you're sick, don't go. Stephanie Henry, last word. Actually, I, DNA's last he, word. You get second last word. Yeah, I, I would say that I, if we're going to leave the onus on the individuals to clean up after themselves, I think we're going to be in a sticky situation because I've seen people go to the gym and not wipe it down before or after they use equipment. So I feel like if they're changing the way that they do that, things will be okay. Will I be in a gym anytime soon? For me, probably not comfortable with that. My trainer does things virtually, but eventually, maybe. Dina Pouliez. Practice good hygiene. Maybe do like an outdoor indoor version. Remember when there was smoking yeah. and non-smoking in the same area? So maybe right. if you're not vaccinated, head outdoors, do it safely there with trainers, boot camp mm -hmm. style. If not, be indoors. I don't know. Got to think creatively, right? Yeah, I like that. All right, good stuff, everyone. Mayor Tory, I hope to see you at Pimo's. Sid Six Arrow Maintenance Yard. Sid Six Arrow Maintenance Yard. I'm onto something here. Oh, oh, Sid, Six Arrow like sewage, Sid, Sid Six Arrow Sewage Treatment Plant. Wow. Oh, <laughs> don't laugh. I would take it. Yes. I would take it. Everyone's laughing. Make Mayor Tory, you too. Take care. Good to see you. Uh,
Tori. All right. Always good when we talk to Mayor Tori. And uh, yeah. thank you for everyone to jumping in uh, here. Uh, so and, you know, let's keep the good vibes going here, Devo. Let's yeah, go. Let's do it. Look, so man, if they did the search of my history as well, there's no <laughs> chance I'm getting a street named after me ever.